keypad code. <sighs> Norma could be back any minute. Need to find that key. <sighs> Forgot about this. The Osborns have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in Bello, peace in war. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Um, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad. You know, for doing this. I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Wait, wait, wait. Check the TV. God. Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queen. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. Oh man, look at us. We used to be so carefree. I miss those days. I miss them too. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. What's the key behind this? They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been right. Feels like there's something attached to the back of the frame. This is kind of cute. Norman keeps all the campaign buttons from his races. There's one for school board. And he's left room for more. Setting your sights higher, Norman? Or this must be the key for Harry's room. Nice. I know, seriously, MJ what? should be... This can't be for Harry, can it? Master lockpicker at this point. Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney his mom. Why didn't you tell us you were sick? Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. 0718. Leaving for Europe today. I'm not sure where this is going. Dad said there's no risk, but that's dad. Dr. Michaels thinks it's like 50-50, so okay. Might not make it. If that happens, I bet you'll be reading this, dad. Who am I kidding? You're probably reading it anyway. Norman always has to know. If you are reading this, Dad, no risk at all. It turns out to be another Osborne campaign promise and do me a favor. Show this part to Pete and MJ. Just show just them. Please, thanks, Dad. To Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson. Guys, I'm sorry. Really sorry if you're reading this, man. This is tough. Even in an unimagined hypothetical letter to you, it's hard to be honest. Here goes. I'm sick. Like, really sick. Doctors think it's something Mom had. Neuro degeneration, rapid onset. I've known for a while, but I thought I could manage it. I didn't tell you, well, because I didn't tell you. <laughs> I was worried how you'd react. And I couldn't stand to see you go through what I did with my mom. Watching her suffer, knowing I couldn't help. Watching her die was worse than the dying. 
Things got really bad recently. All these times that I was watching.